Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to the second part of my YouTube Artist Collective for this theme, Cards of All Fates, Fortunes and Fables. Uh, if you don't know what the YouTube Artist Collective is, we are a group of artists who are here on YouTube and every few months we do a theme. If you want to check out everyone's amazing channels and amazing work, I'll leave links down below. I believe we have uh, two guest artists this time and Sakawems has rejoined us and I'm really excited to see what everyone does for this theme. So as with my previous one, I this one is the moon. Um, in comparison to the sun, I decided that I wanted a complete contrasting colour palette, a cool with a warm. I felt that this would really define the differences between these two characters and also show um, between them with him reaching up and her reaching down the longing that they do have for one another. The sadness that it has that brings them apart as well as the love that they have for one another. And Personally, I think out of the three pieces, I think this one might be my favourite simply because I love the colour palette. Um, purples and blues are just simply some of my favourite colours to colour with. Um, so it's really, it's, it's you know, kind of favouritism in a way. His outfit is very inspired by like fantasy, um, like a lot of old like fantasy novels and fantasy stories. Um, I really wanted them to have a fantasy feel, which is why they have horns, elfish ears, and the, why their outfits are quite ornate and have like lots of um, small details to them, just because I really wanted to capture that feel with them. I think the hardest part for me with colouring with this was because I'd set myself the limitations of having a limited palette with both of them, um, I really wanted to add some warmer colours but I felt that if I added warmer colours, it would distract from his skin tone. Um, there are parts that I would definitely fix about this, definitely. Um, but overall, I'm particularly happy with this piece. As always, there are prints available up on my Redbubble store and on my... Um, uh, the, the originals will be up on my store envy as well. I think with these cards, I'm really happy that I decided to make tarot cards and I'm really happy that I decided to make separate pieces. Um, I think if they were all together on one piece of paper, I would not have got as much into it as I would have liked to have done really. Um, for example, I really go in with the details on his jacket and I really go in with like certain details and I felt like if I'd made the piece too small, I wouldn't have been able to really get the details that I wanted. So that was my choice to make three separate pieces. Um, just because overall I wanted to put more detail into it, I wanted to be able to have more colour into it and I wanted to have fun. I find that if I work really, really small, sometimes I don't get as much out of it as I wanted so it was my choice to do three pieces and do that. Um, as with the previous piece if you've already seen it you already saw that I based this piece on the sun and the moon and the legends of the, the sun and moon span across different cultures so there is quite a few different stories and variations of this story that do appear. And I really felt that by having these separated into three pieces I could really tell the story I wanted to kind of do more but due to time constraints I wasn't able to so I think I would love to build up the story of the sun and mood through tarot card ideas uh, maybe do like the separation piece and like have like another piece like anxiety I just think it would be really nice to have a full set to be able to tell a story let me know what you think in the comments below would you want to see more of these characters told in a like tarot card format um my reasoning for choosing tarot cards is because i've always actually been inspired by the format and the artwork on them um my siblings have these amazing set of like tarot cards and the, the details and all the artwork are just so phenomenally beautiful that it's really inspiring um whenever I look at them. I do have a set of two fan art cards, I have a set of Critical Role uh, tarot card designs and I have the set of Undertale ones as well and whenever I just look at them just for the art 
and there's playing cards I have by Loish as well and I just look at them and I'm always so inspired by the artwork and the way that the artwork is created that I really love like how like tarot card designs are um, I know some people may be uncomfortable with them but I just I absolutely love them I just think the artwork and the intricacies behind it and the detail that goes within the artwork and that each card has a meaning behind it I just think that's so so wonderful and that each card has a story it's kind of like you're holding story books in your hand that you're holding like different reasonings and uh, different fates in your hand and I just think that's so it's just so beautiful to think of when you think of it as with always, uh, the full list of equipment that I'm using is down below, but I use Mixpedia paper here, uh, my Windsor & Newton slash Pro markers, I use Polychromos to build up texture uh, upon the um, outfits, especially just because I really love building up texture there, uh, Unipin, fine liners, and Pentel um, pens, uh, all the equipment as always is listed down below. I think my favourite part in this is like the jacket i just love like how detailed the jacket is and then the blending of the jacket i just that sounds really nerdy uh, but it's one of my favorite things uh, i really struggled with his outfit design because as many of you may know if you watch my channel i don't really tend to draw men that much and that is one of my tackles for this year i really want to improve my art and i think by having this improvement and forcing myself to do and stuff that I wouldn't normally do I think will help me improve not only as an artist but as an illustrator as well. I think the story of these guys really touched me and it made me want to, hello Bella, it made me want to tell more of their story, it made me want to basically transcribe and show what their story was about they truly did really love one another and they still love one another but they know that being together will cause so much pain and that's so sad it's such a sad story but it's one full of hope and shows that they true that they did love one another and they will always be there for one another and that i think is just such a beautiful story I hope you guys like my video and I hope you guys check out my other two videos as well. I'll leave links um, down uh, up, in the, up in the top and they'll also be in the description as well. I'm really glad that I chose to make these three separate pieces and I think I hopefully I succeeded in telling their story and hopefully you guys will want to understand more about their story. I think the thing is with them as well as that even though they're separated, their love is just so strong for one another and I really, really think that is such a wonderful story to tell. So I hope you check out my other videos, make sure to check out everyone else's in the collective as well. They've all done such a phenomenal job, like I've had sneak peeks and you guys, oh my goodness, I wait till you see what everyone's done, they have done such a phenomenal job, like it's extremely impressive what they've managed to do and I it just inspires me seeing everyone's work and if you take part in this collective theme I want to see what you do like you know you can tag me in your work on Instagram and Twitter I am always so excited to see what other people do um, just because I feel that in this world where creativity is one of the most wonderful things and we all have such wonderful interpretations of the same thing uh, and I think that is something that we should embrace and love. So here's a few final looks over this piece. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy it. As I said I'll be leaving links to my other two videos if you want to check those out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I really appreciate you watching this all the way through to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, but as always folks, stay creative.